<laughs> oh! I thought you said acupuncture would make me feel better. Trust me, it will. It's just not easy finding the right nerve points under all this, uh... Fat. Fur. I was gonna say fur. Sure you are. Who am I to judge a warrior based on his size? I mean, look at me. I'm over here. <laughs> Maybe you should take a look at this again. Oh, okay. Ow! <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Ow! I know Master Shifu's trying to inspire me and all, but if I didn't know any better, I'd say he was trying to get rid of me. <laughs> I know he can seem kind of heartless, but, you know, he wasn't always like that. According to legend, there was once a time when Master Shifu actually used to smile. No. Yeah. But that was before. Before what? Before Tai Lung. Uh, yeah, we're not really supposed to talk about him. Well, if he's going to stay here, he should know. Guys, guys, I know about Tai Lung. He was a student. The first ever to master the thousand scrolls of Kung Fu. And then he turned bad and now he's in jail. And... He wasn't just a student. <laughs> Shifu found him as a cub. And he raised him as a son. <laughs> oh. And when the boy showed talent in Kung Fu, <laughs> Shifu trained him. He believed in him. He told him he was destined for greatness. It was never enough for Tai Lung. He wanted the Dragon Scroll, but Ugwe saw darkness in his heart and refused. Outraged, Tai Lung laid waste to the valley. He tried to take the scroll by force, and Shifu had to destroy what he had created. But how could he? <laughs> Shifu loved Tai Lung like he had never loved anyone before. And now, he has a chance to make things right, to train the true Dragon Warrior. And he's stuck with you. A big, fat panda who treats it like a joke. <laughs> oh, that is it! Wait! My fault! I accidentally tweaked his facial nerve! And may have also stopped his heart. <laughs>